Alright, yo guys, hey, today I'm just going to be doing uh, Math A, Travel People 1. Um, I'm actually going to try speed on this, 2 hours, and it's uh, May 2021. Unfortunately, the only topics I'm not that good at is complex numbers and vectors, because I haven't done them, like, really at class, and like, we haven't really studied them. So, but apart from that, I should be kind of alright, I think. And, and also kinematics, I've never done that too. And, um, yeah, got my time right here, 2 hours. I probably won't need two hours, um, and yeah, I'm gonna do my work on it. So let's get started. Three, two, one. Let's go. All right, and here. Yeah. All right, consider to consider positive integers. Show the difference of the squares and the sum of two integers. So the sum equals two n plus one, and the diff equals n squared plus two n plus one minus n squared equals 2n plus 1 for sum okay next uh solve the equation okay uh, u equals sine x 2 1 minus u squared plus 5u plus 4 2 minus 2 u squared plus 5u equals 4 um minus 2 u squared plus 5u minus 2 equals 0 2 u squared minus 5u plus 2 equals 0 uh, 2 u squared minus 4 u minus u equal, uh, plus 2 equals 0. Then just factor plus 1 u minus 2 equals 0. Um, sine x equals a half. x equals pi over 6. Uh, pi over 6. Um, I know that u can't be, this turns into um, 2 minus 1 times u minus 2, and sine x can't be 2. So I just have a solution. I saw before that it's between 0 and 2 pi, and I think. I've done bad times in class. Uh, these are the solutions. Okay, next. Uh, three. An expansion of this, the question of the term x to 5 is 63. Okay, we have x plus k power 7. We'll do n choose r, a to n minus r, b to the r. So 7 choose r, uh, x n minus 7 minus r, b to the r. This is k to the r. Uh, this should be squared because we want x of 5. So 7 choose 2 of x squared equals 63. Uh, 7 choose 2, I'm pretty sure it's 21. k squared equals 63. k squared equals 3. k equals plus minus root 3. Next. For a. Oh, see, I'm pretty quick with, like section A stuff, but. Because yeah, I go through for videos usually, but um, but yeah, that's how I am normally. Okay, blah blah, find value of a. So a is the x-intercept of f of x. So learn x squared minus 9, 16 equals 0. e to the both sides, 1 equals x squared minus 16, x equals root 17. Uh, b, given the degree of l is a third, and x equals b. Um, so f of x equals learn x squared minus 16 f dash of x should be 2x of x squared minus 16. Uh, a third equals 2x of x squared minus 16. Uh, x squared minus 16 equals 6x. 6x minus 16 equals 0. Um, that's negative 8 and 2. x minus 8. x plus 2. x equals 8. Uh, next. And 5. Given a two non zero vectors, A and B show that this thing. Okay, I think it's form book time. Okay, I've never really done this before. Mm. This is show that this thing, show that this whole thing works. Okay, I, I see scalar products and this random stuff, so I might write that down real quick. So, A time A dot B. Equals absolute value a, absolute value b, cos theta, square both sides. Cos theta. Um, and maybe it did show this absolute value thing. Right now I can't really give a trick, but maybe using this. So I might write that down too. And I'll square everything. B squared equals absolute value a squared sine squared theta 
Maybe if I add both equations, because I see these are both the same. Um, if you add them, sine square p plus cos square p is 1. So a times b squared plus this thing equals a squared. Uh, yeah, that's it, because they cancel. Sine square p plus cos square p. Here. And I think we're close. Okay. I said this confidently, but I, I, don't, I haven't really done vectors at home that much. Well, because we haven't even learnt it. But, um, that's it. Okay. Shoot. It's question six. Uh, we have this triangle. Given that cos C, find area triangle. Okay. Cosine formula, and we can find X. So, um, 100 equals X squared plus 4X squared minus 2 lots of x, 2x, uh, cos c, which is 3 over 4, uh, 100 equals 5x squared minus 3x squared, 100 equals 2x squared, 50 equals x squared. I'm going to leave like that because I know that the area is going to be x, 2x, sine c. Uh, to get sine, theta, this is 3, this is 4, this is root 4 squared minus 3 squared, root 7, root 7 over 4. Uh, it's 2x squared, root 7 over 8, or that over 4, 50, 25 root 7 over 2. That's the answer. Next. Um, the cube equation, k squared root 0 has these roots, given that that, find value k. Okay, we have x cubed minus kx squared plus 3k equals 0. Um, I guess we can, it has those roots, so I might actually do this. And then x minus alpha plus beta, which this looks long. Is there anything we can use? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, never mind. I found, I found an easy way. Um, we can use some products of roots. So the sum is going to be minus b of a. I'll just write this down and then see see why I go with it. And the product's going to be minus 3k over 1. So minus 3k equals alpha beta. And wait, was that it? And then you just... Wait, I got alpha beta as minus 3k. And then... Oh, okay. Minus k squared over 4 equals minus 3k. k squared over 4 equals 3k. k squared equals 12k. And I think this is k squared minus 12, k equals 0. k, k minus 12, 0. And k is going to 0, so k equals 12. Uh, question 8. Um, the lines L1 and L2 have the following vector equations. Show L1 and L2 do not intersect. Shoot. Okay, I don't know vectors and stuff. How, how do you show that they don't intersect? Maybe is it the... Yeah, I can't, I, I, I don't know how to... I'm, I might skip vectors, because honestly, I have zero I have zero knowledge about vectors. I mean, I just know that... Maybe, is there like a sort of formula for this? I mean, I have this. D does that help? I have no clue. Wait, if they don't intersect, that means that... If, wait, wait, there's one thing I do know. For L1, um, we can do x equals 3 plus 2 lambda. So I'll just, there. Um, 2 minus 2 lambda equals y. And minus 1, z equals minus 1 plus 2 lambda. That, does this help at all? And then for the other one, it's going to be L2, 2 plus mu equals y, y equals c equals um, 0 plus, well that's just minus lambda, and then 4 plus lambda. How, how do you show that they don't intersect? Absolutely no clue. I might skip this one. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to skip that. Okay, question 9. By using a u-sub, show this. Okay. 
of integral of sine x cos x all over sine squared x minus sine x minus 2. Can we factor the bottom? That's going to be, if we have u squared minus u minus 2, that's going to be uh, minus 2 and 1. Was this like a partial fraction thing? Maybe. Uh, if we use u equals sine x, du equals cos x dx, so it's integral of uh, u over u squared minus u minus 2 du. Um, 2 minus 1. Non okay, I think this might be partial fractions. Maybe I'll, I'll try it. How many marks this? Okay, seven. So we've got like a couple more seconds. Uh, and then that's u minus 2 u plus 1. So that means u over that u equals a uh, u plus 1. Wait, a over u minus 2. And then cross multiply a u plus 1 b u minus 2. Um, that u equal minus 1 equals b minus 3 so b equals a third and then let u equal 2 2 equals a 3 a equals 2 thirds now just, I'm going to come out a little bit so it's the integral of um, wait it was what a over u minus 2 u minus 2 yeah plus b over u plus 1 and a was two thirds, b was a third, du. Uh, I guess we can, this is going to be learn two over three, learn u minus two, plus a third, learn u plus one, plus c. And then you just substitute, learn sine x minus two, plus a third, learn sine x plus one, plus c. And now I'll go back a bit. Yeah. Oh, section B already. It's been 12 minutes. Interesting. Uh, consider the function f of x, 6 plus 6 cos x. Now, this is S question, so I should be able to do this fine. Let's just see. Uh, find the coordinates of a and b. So, cough f. And that's it. Okay. So, 6 plus uh, 6 cos x. And it says it's between 0 and 4 pi. That should take into consideration. Cos x equals minus 1. Uh, when cos x equals minus 1, that's here. So x equals pi and 2 pi. And I feel like, uh, let's see, when um, when cos x, when x is 0, six, so this is 12. Interesting. I, yeah, when cos is 0, so yeah, it's so, okay. I, I think those are the answers here. Uh, B. So the area of the shaded region is 12 pi. So integral of 2 pi to pi of 6 plus 6 cos x dx, which equals, um, I guess what? This is just 6x plus 6. Integral cos is sine x, uh, 2 pi and pi. 12 pi plus 6, so sine pi is um, when we're here, 0. Take away 6 pi. Oh, it says 12 pi. Um, what's sine pi? Oh, wait, no, no, wait, I'll sine 2 pi. No, wait. Don't worry, I fear the boundary. I'll spend about another minute on this. Pi 2. Show that area of shaded region is 12 pi. So it should be 6x plus and then 6. Integral of cos is sine. Yeah. 12 pi plus 6, so, so sine 2 pi, which is 0. So then minus 6 pi plus 6, so, so sine pi. Yeah, sine, it's, there's zero on both. Wait a minute. That's 6 pi though. 
Now give the function right. Or what if I accidentally got half the region that I meant, meant to be? So maybe A and B aren't pi and 2 pi. Hmm. Let's see. Well, minus one. Let's see, we pi, two pi. Oh, three pi. We, 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 we. This is three, because you had two pi. This is three. This is three. See, just look back, check for mistakes, and then just go forward. Uh, so then, this four. This is eighteen pi minus six pi, which equals twelve. Uh, twelve pi, and done. Uh, question C. There's a tall subset of tall pi. Find value of L. Okay, I don't know what the subset of a cone is. Let's find out. Maybe here. Area of a curved surface of a cone. Um, A equals pi or L, apparently. So let's see. A equals pi or L. This is 12 pi. Which for some reason is area of the thing before, but anyways. Uh, R is 2, so pi 2, and then L. So L equals 6. Uh, semis? Nope, let's just put 6. Uh, D. Find the volume of a cone. Um, a volume of a cone, I think, is a third power squared height. Yep. I'm just going to write that down. Now the height is um so we had two and we had six root six squared minus two squared that's thirty six minus four which is thirty two which is two root five so v equals a third pi two squared two root five equals a third pi four two root five I mean that's what eight root five over three pi. I mean, that's a weird answer, but I'll take it. Question 11. Whoa, 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 what is this? What the hell? Bruh, I'm not, I'm not good at kinematics because we've barely done anything. Okay, uh, on the spot, I guess. Let's just do this. 11a. Um, okay, I'm, I'm just going to read this carefully. Uh, I'm going to zoom into. The acceleration a meters per second of a particle moving in a horizontal line at time t is given by this thing. At t equals zero, the particle at fixed origin O has initial velocity v zero by solving an appropriate differential equation. Shoot, I forgot how differential equations work. Wait, I think it's um, so we have eight um, a equal minus one plus v, right? I'm pretty sure you you differentiate your thing with respect to t. So dA by dt equals um, Let's just put this as v minus, minus 1 minus v. Yeah, um, this will just be 0. Wait, I'm trying to think. Minus 1 minus v. And that'll just be... Wait a minute. At t equals 0. I saw an appropriate differential equation to show that the particle velocity at time t is given by. What's the derivative of acceleration? dv by tt, right? Oh, wait, wait, acceleration is the derivative of, of, of like, a velocity. So dv by dt is equal to minus 1 plus v. And then rearranging, we have 1 over 1 plus v equal minus uh, dt. And that's dv. And then this is ln 1 plus v plus c equals minus t. And then, um, what do I do? At time t equals zero, the particle 
has initial velocity that so at zero um, we're at ln one plus v zero plus c so c equals minus ln one plus v zero is that fine so we have ln one plus v wait he's getting involved though what is that actually wait maybe i might take okay i'll take e to to the everything so uh one plus v wait e to c times uh one plus v is equal to e to the minus t let's call it like a constant like a and then wait a minute I'm getting so close to this. 1, 1 plus v dv equals minus t. Maybe. And there's no. C. I think we do got to solve for c. Because we have to. Okay, let's take e to everything. So e to that, e to that. And then plug in t equals 0. Because that'll just be 1. And this will just be e to ln. 1 plus v0 plus c which is this times e to c and that's just 1 plus v0 so what just happened uh i mean e to c equals 1 over 1 plus v0 so c equals ln of one over one plus v zero. So therefore, and we're trying to find a function in terms of t. What? I hope I hope my method's right here. I'll spend like like one more minute on this. Oh, I'm just, I'm just leaving. C equals a little of that. How do they end up with? Let me let me see. And then one plus v plus ln one over one plus v zero. What I'm confused about is how they have no constant. The the constant died, for some reason. Uh, equals to minus t. Maybe take e to the everything. Oh wait, if we take e to the everything, that's gonna be one plus v times one over one plus v zero equal e to the minus t. And then times one plus v zero on both sides. So one one plus v equals one plus v zero e to the minus t. And then v equals one plus v zero e to minus t minus one hey i did it what the hell see through perseverance i have managed to do it sorry i didn't put some more space okay i actually said what the hell okay initially at o the particle moves in a positive direction until it reaches its maximum displacement the particle returns to zero s mirrors represent the particle space with o and s max show the time t you take for the particle to reach s max is this equation Okay. I'm trying to think on how they exactly got got here. Um I guess when it's if you reach so if you reach maximum displacement, is that when when it's this is zero, so velocity is zero. Because then if we look at is zero uh, that means just rearranging one equals one plus v zero e to minus t. Um, times e to t both sides and let's just cause t okay like the new time we're trying to find uh, equals one plus v zero and then oh what i, I got on spax then sorry guys uh i saw an appropriate differential equation you're using the rock form bi find expression for s max in terms of v zero okay
by solving an appropriate differential equation and using the result from part pi. What, what differential equation am I solving? Is it maybe? Okay, I'm gonna skip that one. I, I'll, I'll just go to C. I'm not too sure about that part, so I'm, I'm just gonna skip it for a sec. Also, yeah, I might as well not go back to it. Try to speed run this. Remember. Uh, CII, a VT minus K percent power velocity, K seconds before it reaches S max, where we have this mad equation. By using a result from PI, show that, show this. So we have VT minus K uh, equal to 1 plus V0 e to minus T minus K minus 1. Um, I guess plug in e to T. So for this part, so 1 plus v0 e to the minus t plus k so that's going to be e to the k k minus t minus 1 that's e to the k over e to the t now e to the t was 1 plus v0 so that's all this over 1 plus v0 um, now v just cancel e to the k minus 1 v t minus k uh, what else I have to show? Oh, I did it. Okay. Uh, yeah, there you go. So we let Vt plus k represent the particle's velocity k seconds after it reaches s max. This is a similar expression for Vt plus k in terms of k. What? Let Vt plus k represent velocity after it reaches Okay, because it's like the k seconds after... Oh, I just realized something. Wait. Oh, VT is the actual function that we're using. Yeah, I'm, I didn't realize. This is a similar expression for VT plus K in terms of K. Oh, is, wouldn't it just be VT plus K and then this will turn into plus K on the inside? So, VT plus K, because I think, I guess how people mess up is they don't realize this is just like a function. T and then plus K. Uh, oh wait, no, no, no. Oh uh, yeah, wait. Okay, that's fine. Equals one plus v zero e to the minus t minus k. And what can I sub in? I can sub in the e to the t thing. So this e to the over e to the k minus one. Um, Maybe I'll do 1 over e to the t, e to the k, because that's what it is, or e to the t plus k. Um, and then e to the t is 1 plus v0. So it's equal to 1 over e to the k minus 1. v t plus k. Um, e. So I guess kinematics is just rearranging and stuff. I'm, I'm pretty happy that I managed to realize this is dv by dt. Maybe it's in the formula, I'm not sure. Hence, show that. Vt plus k plus Vt plus k. Okay, I guess first I'll add them, I think. So e to k minus 1 plus 1 over e to k minus 1. It's green equal to 0. They're, they're, that's what they want. So maybe e to k plus 1 over e to k minus 2. Um, how am I going to do that? Maybe... Hmm. Hence, show that. Maybe what's like the minimum k? Is that could I use that? Not. Nope, we have nothing about it. Should that time taken? My expression for s max in terms of v I'm probably I'm probably guessing this was the answer to this. I guess maybe you could just look to and try to copy it. Okay, I'm not too sure about e, so I'm gonna skip it. But I'm guessing, could you just like plot this probably? Like for example, k is zero. This be one plus one minus two, which is zero. When k is one, this be e plus one over e minus two. 
that's more like 2.7 plus 0.5 minus 2 so that will be greater than 0 oh and then you could just argue that it's always greater than 0 we say like it's increasing and then like so pretend I've made a plot and say it's always greater than 0 okay greater than or equal uh, oof what is this I hope this is the last question okay half an hour in I guess this will write that one last question there's no statistics on this page for some reason but I guess yeah we'll take that this is just does mad one the final time shows the graph of y equals this mad function deduce describe a sequence of transformations so first we have y equals arc 10x then um if we look at okay let's just write this down plus pi over four um this is two lots of x plus a half so could we just argue that it's um maybe horizontal translation uh, so i guess what like minus half zero so if it has gone to the half a uh, half to the left like you can see on the diagram it usually goes for zero um and then to oh, i'm not sure about this but i think that's a half then and plus the power four okay anyways so this is horizontal um vertical it's going to be pi over 4 0 because it went pi 4 up and then the scale factor is f of 2x so how do I do that I think that's horizontal stretch should we call it horizontal stretch by scale factor a half or is it 2 I might put 2 and just pray for it uh, part b should that arc tan p this that this that p okay so um we can take tan on both sides so tan of arc tan p plus arc tan q let's let's say this, this the old thing was equal to you so it's equal to tan of you okay and now let's try fix this luckily i do know there's a formula which is um tan a plus tan b over one minus tan a tan b Okay, I, I hope that's right, if my memory is good. Um, and yeah, that was right. Um, and then if you do tan arc, I'm just going to say that tan of arc tan, like x equals x, the, the cancel. So this equals to p plus q over 1 minus pq. And is that, is that what they want? And then therefore, uh, tan u equals p plus q or 1 minus pq. And then u equals arc tan uh, p plus q over 1 minus pq. And there we go. I think we're C. Verify that arc tan 2x plus 1 equals this thing. It says verify. Um, maybe should I try to use this formula? Let, let's just wait. Let me just think about this. Wait a minute. Maybe. So we showed this formula before, and then it says verify. Where can I use this to my advantage? Hold up. This is PQ squared and zero. This stuff. This stuff. V pi of four is that arc ton of one? And then I'll be x. Okay, wait. Could we do like arc tan x of x plus one uh, plus arc tan of one? Because I'm pretty sure arc tan of one is pi over four. Because tan pi over four is one. Then that's just from our formula x over x of x plus one. Wait. 
before you go for arc 10. X of X plus 1. Plus 1 all over 1 minus um, the multiply together. And that's just X of X plus 1. Times X plus 1 and everything. We're going to X plus X plus 1 all over X plus 1 minus X plus 1. And the part part cancels, and the top part is just 2x plus 1, which works. Okay, I fully improvised that method, and it worked. So I'll take that. I think it's all right if I only do the right-hand side, and when I show that, that it equaled the left-hand side. I think that's that could be all right. Oh, math by induction. Okay. Um, use math by induction. Result from part B. Prove that. The result from part B, so this thing. Um... So saying, okay, base case, n equal 1, so r equals 1 to 1 of arc tan over 2r squared. That would just equal arc tan 1, we go power 4. And arc tan 1 over 1 plus 1. Oh, sorry, wait. Oh, that's just, it's, it's half, sorry. Arc 10 half. Uh, 1 over 1 plus 1 equals arc 10 half. So you check out. I don't think I should check um, the arc 10 half. I think that's fine. Um, then C, um, let n equal k. So that means, got to write out the whole thing again. k because one and then k was a real number i guess that uh, sorry positive integer um arc 10 over 2r squared equals to arc 10 k over k plus one um now um assume i equal k plus one so our goal what we want it to look like will be k plus 1, r equal 1, arc tan 1 over 2 r squared equals arc tan k plus 1 over k plus 2. This is our goal and we will prove this. So the inductive step, the sum of k plus, so I think a as this is a sum one, it should be pretty nice to do, but the working out might be really bad. Of one over two r squared would equal the sum of k r equal to one of arc tan of one over two r squared uh, plus the final term that we get in this, which is arc tan one over two k plus one squared. Sorry, it's not enough space. Um, so bring back down here a bit and the sum of k we actually got this formula right here arc tan k over k plus one so arc tan k over k plus one plus arc tan one over two k plus one squared now using the formula that they gave us earlier which is this thing arc tan p plus arc tan q this equals i'm just going to write here sorry about that uh, arc tan okay this is where it gets very tricky um i'll, I'll probably just show that i'm using the formula you know, i might put the formula down so arc p plus q over 1 minus pq p plus q over 1 minus pq which equals arc tan k over k plus 1 plus 1 over 2 lots of k plus 1 squared all over one minus, they don't cancel unfortunately. Then multiply to cover. So k over two k plus one cubed. I, I just want to make sure that I haven't messed up a spec. If you multiply them together, k over two k plus one cubed, and that's a, and that's squared. Yeah. Which equals arctan of now what's the now I just want to think what's the easiest thing to do here that will make life very easy for us? Because we want it to become 
k plus 1 over, what's the goal? k plus 1 over k plus 2. Probably times k plus 1 squared, I think. So that'd be k, k plus 1, plus 1 over 2, um, all over k plus 1 squared, minus k over, over 2, k plus 1. I hope that makes sense. As times k plus one squared and everything. Um, yeah, let's keep going. I think yeah, one thing about induction is don't give up really. Do I want it times k plus one everything? This might think make things complicated. That's why I'm trying not to do that because it should apparently turn into k plus one over k plus two from our goal. So let, let's just see. Maybe. Hmm. If we do, okay, top part's going to be k squared plus k plus a half. That we, yeah, we can't do anything with that. All over. No, wait, let's just still keep like this, just in case. Okay, you know, I might times k, okay, I might times 2 on everything. So 2k, k plus 1, plus 1, all over 2, k plus 1 squared minus k, k plus 1 equals arc tan of there's any fact factor out? there isn't okay hmm how much time am I in? okay, we've still 40 minutes first uh, Fine, our times keep us on everything. I just hope that something happens. Let's let's just see. Uh, so this will be two k k plus one squared plus k plus one all over two so k plus one cubed minus k. And let's just hope that this something happens. Uh, this will be two k k squared plus two k plus one plus k plus one. So you k cubed plus 3k squared plus 3k plus 1 minus k. Does minus k even do anything? It does not. See, I know for a fact that it, it should succumb to the goal. So I don't I don't want to do some unnecessary stuff. Let me just see where, where I had like two statements. So I'm pretty sure this was fine. Because r tan k over k plus 1 follows a formula. And then arc tan 1 over 2k plus 1 cubed wait a minute wait a minute that, is that cubed? wait this is 1 over 2 r squared oh it was because of my squiggly lines flip okay it's good I found a mistake let me just do not worry guys this is why probably in the exam I'll just, just ask for extra paper This equals arc tan of okay now it makes sense I was wondering why those are cubed because it just the the, the math wasn't mathing one minus oh wait but we got a times them no really we got a times them okay I might just leave it like this. 2k plus 1 squared. Okay, I'll just leave it like that. Just see what happens. Okay, what's the most logical step to do here? Times k plus 1 squared and everything. So, k, k plus 1 plus uh, 1 over 2 plus 1 squared minus and those two are together. So, this is k over it's also k plus 1. If I can't get this, oh well. It's not in the world. Oh, I don't want, I don't want to times by k plus... Okay, let's times 2 on everything. 2k, k plus 1, plus 1, all over. It's also k plus 1, squared. 
minus k over k plus 1 equals arc tan of but there's no way I still have to times by k plus 1 everything this is long let's, let's keep going we'll keep going I think how does how does this become k it's, it's meant to become this okay but I don't see it I do not see it like this is just some some mad math stuff I maybe I split the fractions no that just wouldn't make sense fine I guess we got a times k plus one everything in bad I don't want to because yeah it is it was okay 2k squared plus 2k plus 1 all over 2 lots of k plus 1 squared minus k over k plus 1 the top part does that turn to anything where well, isn't that k plus 2k plus 1 k plus 1 2k squared plus 2k plus k no oh we know if we do 2k squared plus k plus k plus 1 plus 2k k plus 1 plus k plus 1 right no it wouldn't work okay I might just stop here I mean it's, it's, it's taking too long equals arc 10 2k squared plus 2k plus 1 all over so this is yeah I guess we we'll spot okay or maybe wait let me try something this is sure I come here what's k squared plus 2k plus 1 plus k squared so that is k plus 1 squared plus k squared all over 2 of k plus 1 squared minus k over k well there's k over k plus 1 is doing my idea I, uh, maybe times k plus 1 everything this will just be k and that's cubed and this is maybe arc tan um, k plus 1 cubed plus k squared k plus 1 all over 2 loss of k plus 1 cubed minus k okay so what's that 2k cubed plus 6k squared plus 6k plus 2 minus k yeah guys uh I'm I'm just gonna stop there. Just look at the mark scheme. Um and yeah, there you go. That's that's my take in 48 minutes. And I'll just see if I get a six maybe. So there would be an hour and 12 minutes left to just do fix all mistakes. Like right now you may see me and just think I was guy like struggling on a question. First of all, yeah, I'm struggling on the last one. And and look look how much there was before. Okay. So you gave me this whole paper one. But um but yeah, I'm just gonna um yeah I should probably try find a mark screen. Hold up. But you know what? Uh, I might just put like I'll put my um mark in the in the title so like you 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 guys will see. So yeah. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um that was my take on this paper which is twenty twenty one May, two hours. Um I saw like four minutes left. If so, if technically, if I if I didn't struggle on the last one, I can't, if I if I like knew know these topics, because by the way, like a lot of these topics. Let's see, for example, this. Th therefore, I, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, higher function. It's like higher functions. But yeah, somehow I I attempted it and it was alright. And this, I don't know what was going on. But yeah, I'm probably gonna lose marks on that. But yeah, we'll see what I get. These guys, thanks for watching and peace.